Hello everyone. Today we are going to make input box like that of Java language in C++. We are using code blocks for this tutorial. So fire up your code blocks, create a new project, and scroll down, select Win32 GUI project. Go next. Give a title to your project. Click next, finish. Open your sources and main.cpp. Don't get frightened by this code. This is just a template to make a window. So we would just compile this project. Compile and run. And we got a window. Let's close it. Let's change the color of the window. So here we we can see set background color. So we are gonna change it to create solid brush and simple simple brackets. And we are going to type RGB, which stands for red, green, and blue. And 255 is the maximum value which you can give to that color. So this will create a very white color window. If you change the 255 to 000, then you will get a black color window. I will show it to you. So this makes a black color window. If we change the first number to 255 and let other be 00, then we will get a red color window like this. But for now we want a white color window. So we would change the 00s to also 255 and 255. And we are getting a white color window, so that's good. Let's move on. Here you can see these two numbers. These are width and height of the window which we get. So we would change that numbers to 800 into 500. So 800 width and 500 height. And we would get a bigger window which we can resize later. So here there are switch statements and there is a case WM destroy. So we would make it another case WM create. So WM create and let's break it. Now let's make a few handles before we proceed. So first we would include string, string header. And then we would usually do that using namespace standard. Now we want to create some handles. So first would be question. This would make ask a question to the user. Second would be text box and third one would be button. This is usual and you would understand what I am doing in a few seconds. So get back to windows message create and let's make first question. So question is equal to create window simple bracket and in quotation mark you have to type static so that user could not change our question now next we have to type the main question which we would be asking and here i am asking name so name and now we have to give some styles which means how our win how our name window should be so it w window style underscore child which means it must be a child window of our original window and it must be visible so window style visible and next we would be giving its coordinates and dimension so 20 by 20 pixels and dimensions will be 175 width 30 height first one is x axis and second one is y axis always so remember that now next we have to give h, h window and 
other three are will be null and so yeah i got it i got it so we have to change this and now we must get a window with a name which will be asking for a name so let's give a border to this window and change its dimensions so we have to add window style underscore border and change its dimension so next one would i have changed it so next is create window again brackets and now this one would be editable so edit because it's a text box there would be nothing in, in it from the beginning you have to type it and then ws child ws border ws dlg frame use whatever you want you will get them as a prompt from code blocks itself and then give its dimension and coordinates Then copy this line and paste it below. But keep this in mind, you have to always use window style visible in any of the question or text box or button. So window style visible must be there. I made a few more changes in its dimensions and coordinates and now it looks good. But one thing which is a problem is that we cannot use what we input or we cannot take user input and do some function and I will teach you how to do that in next video because it will be a bit more long and complicated so a new video will do our work so bye for now I have put the link of the next video in description bye bye